Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your matches. Uh, today we're watching Jason Yoshida from the USA against France in the 2020 US Open. Uh, and for those, some of you guys who haven't watched this fight before, I, I like this specifically because Yoshida sets a really good trap. So what you need for a good trap are one, obviously your opponent can't know it's coming. Um, this one of the and one of the ways, best ways to implement that is to fight exactly as you were before. Then the next part is in order to get the trap sprung, you need to either bait them into it or you need to force the reaction. And uh, we can see Ishida here doing both. And so I'm gonna play the clip first and then we're gonna rewind it and break it down little by little. Really enjoys it. He's coached with his wife. So it's a, a husband and wife team coaching France and he's having a blast doing it. He says, I wouldn't have it any way not coaching with our wife. On the other side, Gareth Brown now, uh, living full-time in the United States, so glad to have him here with us at Team USA. Back to action here, second round. Bouzid from France in the blue. Boom, and there it is. So that was a uh, great job by Ishida there. I'm going to rewind it. And so if you're watching this match, a lot of the first round, Ishida generally is more of a scrappy fighter. He's in red. Uh, a little bit more brawl type. He can he has some range game for sure, but a lot of his points sometimes come from pushing because he's very physically strong. Pushing inside that kind of deal. Uh, but he does a good job of mixing in that range game with the cuts. And uh, that's just from watching first round. Sec from first round, what we know from France is that he likes this front leg for his cuts and this back left leg, obviously for all the follow-up, a lot of his shots in the clinch come from there. And when his front leg is forward, um, that left leg is forward, he likes to use that because it's a little bit more dynamic than his right leg. So that's the first thing. That's the data coming in. That's what the coach is probably telling Ishida. Hey, you know what? If you use that left leg again, you have a killer right leg back kick. Why don't you throw that? Um, so that's that's the plan. That's the overall plan. Now, going into the second round, if uh, this, the match is pretty close. So they're probably both trying to figure out what did the coach say to this guy that may counter me. And so I generally don't advise throwing whatever trap was said to you in the first 10 to 15 seconds of the match because that's when people are generally on high alert. Now, in order to throw the back kick, obviously the opponent is going to have to throw this back leg to the open side. Or he needs this left leg to come to the open side so this back leg can come around and spin. Correct? And so what is she just doing this first couple... A uh, couple seconds of the match is he's trying to bait obviously by just using this front leg and keeping this side open as bait and without making it too obvious so a lot of motions a lot of cuts it's not lackadaisical it looks like he's still trying to score and initiate and be aggressive but he's using predominantly this front leg because he wants this back he wants he's using predominantly his front leg because he wants this back left leg to come out so he can throw that back kick Boom, boom. So he's still poking around. He's still trying to flush out this reactionary left leg. Boom. And then if he's looking for the... If he wants to keep everything um, kind of hidden, he's only looking for this left leg, why would he throw a pachagi? Like I said before, it's because he wants to disguise what he's actually trying to hide. And so him... If he doesn't throw the right leg, it becomes um, suspect, suspect. I keep saying sus because of um, that one game. But it becomes suspect. It's like, why isn't he using his right leg? He's using his right leg in the first round. He's not using it now. It kind of alerts him that something's up. So him throwing the Pachaki is just to kind of keep disguising what is happening. Glad to have him here with us. Well, once again, going with that front leg. Still trying to draw this back left leg out. Back to action here, second round. Boom. Good. So I feel like at this point, Francis thought, you know, this left leg is probably safe to use. Let's let's try it now. Um, and he shoots it, but Ishida's unfortunately not ready. What I thought was great here is he immediately slides in and tries to go for uh, go for the back kick, and he does it with great amount of speed, and he slides into distance to force a reaction out of France. France in the blue. So I thought it was. Uh, Overall, this great timing, great job. I like the first couple of seconds, in this first you know, 15, 10, 15 seconds, he's trying to bait out that left leg. It's not coming out the way he wants. Um, he's throwing in his right leg for the Pajagi just to you know, keep things uh, very well hidden. And then finally, at the very end here, um, he sees the opportunity, kind of forces forces the reaction by sliding in, and then throws the back kick. So overall, great, great trap by Ishida. And so keep that keep those pointers in mind when you guys are setting your own traps going into the second or third round. You want to not throw it too early because you don't want your opponent to be highly aware of what you're about to do or 
um, you don't want them thinking about, oh, what's this guy going to do? You want them fighting in the normal rhythm they've been fighting. Second is you can alter your game just slightly to uh, try and bait that open side. So, for example, he wants a left leg out, so give them the open free side by using your left leg. In this, stance, in this, in this case, the open stance by flicking your leg and showing that that side's open without making it too obvious. And then third, um, if that's not working, then you can always just try and force your reaction the way you should have did here. So all of those great traps, and uh, we'll see you guys next week.